I always wanted to tell you what YouTube SEO is really about. For the longest time I thought you optimize your video, it ranks in search and then suddenly the views spike like crazy. While that is possible of course and that is usually when you use YouTube SEO for trending topics, check out this video how to do the keyword research there. But this is not the main reason why YouTube SEO is such a dependable source to get more views. Let me show you today why it is. Have a look at this video here, which I actually published in April 2018. So it is already years old. And as you can see here in the graph, it is driving views for a very long time. Every day, new views for the same video for years already. And that is actually not uncommon. That is what we aim to achieve with YouTube SEO, creating evergreen videos that drive us views for a very long time, for years even. So when we look at this graph here, at the first we have the spike in the beginning, which is usually your subscribers watching when you publish the new video. But then over time it grows the views slowly, slowly, slowly because it ranks in search and that is the way it continuously gets new viewers to it and gets watched. As you see here, this video actually drives nearly 100 views each day for two years already. And imagine that, having more of those videos that stacks up, right? That really accumulates a lot of views. I mean, I took this graph here and imagine that this is one video you publish, then you publish another video again, 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 more and more of such evergreen videos and all those views stack up. And since these videos drive many views for years, this overall grows your channel. Here, for example, we see the views that my channel gets each day over the course since 2018 until today. And that growth is because I publish one video after the other and they stack up, building more and more views that continuously come my way. And that is obviously very, very valuable for your channel because it's kind of getting views on autopilot. And if you are part of the Morning Fam Early Access program, then you can already see here in the algorithm tab of Morning Fame's analytics, your top evergreen videos that you have that are listed here. And by the way, getting those views from YouTube search is not the only thing you benefit from because videos that do really well in search actually do also tend to do also really good in suggested and home. You can see that here, for example. So we see the views that this video got over time, over the many years from YouTube search. And now look at that. If I activate suggested videos and browse those bring in additional views as well. So these videos not only give you these YouTube search views, but many views from other traffic sources as well. So it's a win-win overall. Same thing here. We get a lot of views from search and then on top, we also get those views from home and suggested. And actually this effect that videos in YouTube search tend to also do well in home and suggested, well, that also showed a study that I did. If you are interested in that, check this out. So the big question is, of course, what are those evergreen videos that have the ability to drive you views for many years to come? These are usually frequently asked questions, things that people are interested in all the time how to tie a tie, for example, how to make a basic cookie dough, how to get more loot in Fortnite. All these questions that people all the time ask, well, doing a video about that sets you up to get a video that drives views for years to come. And luckily, it is actually not a guessing game to find out what kind of topics are evergreen. You can use Google Trends for that. Here I entered how to tie a tie into Google Trends. And you see, of course, people are interested in learning how to tie a tie all the time. They just need it, right? The new generations in 30 years will again search for how to tie a tie. So this is a classic evergreen topic. 
And by the way, it's also interesting to see, do you see these spikes here? Like it's always there is interest in this term, but sometimes it's higher than the other times. I figured out actually in May, <laughs> imagine that, in May, most people tend to search for how to tie a tie. And since this filter is for the US, well, that is, I guess, graduation. So every time a new generation graduates from college, for example, they have to find out how to tie a tie because they never did it before, right? <laughs> Was the same for me 10, 20 years ago. So it's interesting to see that these topics that are having interest from viewers all the time also have the unique signature, have spikes sometimes. And considering these spikes, this is actually an upside for your evergreen videos as well. So you not only drive those regular views every day, but also you have the opportunity that the topic your video is about spikes at a certain point and you get even more views from that. I mean, this happened to my video here, right? Which I showed you in the beginning. It's driving many views for years and suddenly here, this was February this year, there was a big spike for this topic, even bigger than usually. So win-win on all sides, right? And this is tremendous power. Imagine that, like here again, I showed you, we have many evergreen videos that all stack up the views that your channel gets on a daily basis. This is kind of passive marketing in a sense. I mean, these are all the different videos that you already have on your channel. You made them back in two years ago, one year ago, so long time back, but they continue to drive your views, get new audiences to your channel. And depending on what you do on your channel, for example, if you include affiliate links, well then it naturally converts into customers for Amazon, for example, and you get your revenue share, your affiliate share. So depending on how you use it, it actually means that they drive your income. And if you don't have a channel for your income, just for a hobby, for example, well, this is more audiences for you to get new subscribers from. So ultimately, this grows channels. And if you want to understand how to do keyword research, YouTube SEO, to optimize your videos in a sense, like I just explained you, so that they drive these views for years to come. Well then, check out this video, which explains you the exact process for evergreen type videos. Cheers, my friends.